what's up y'all? Paddle Jack is back again with a weekly upload for the day. I was gonna do like a like a how-to thing, but I'm not. Have you seen the title? I'm gonna do my top five favorite artists. I don't know, I think you'd be surprised because I do like mostly scientific stuff. Like even when I wrote the shit down, I was like, hmm. Even I wouldn't have thought those were my favorite ones. But after like looking all through my Instagram, save the uh, things or whatever, it's these people. These are the ones I always look to and like I look up to or aspire to. So let's get into that right now. All right, so for uh, maybe one through five, and for the first, Number one artist who's like my top dog favorite, hands down. Literally got me like my whole design that I have with the secondary drains. He uh, is who I like, I got that from. So, number one person is Sun Number Four. As you can see, if you, uh, you can kind of see the similarities, not really because this, this stuff's way crazier than mine, but the, see the drains? I'm gonna put like uh, videos and pictures of their work up, hopefully. Hopefully that's what you're looking at right now. But you see his drains, how they work, like a, the sideways thing. It's not like a, a typical drip. Well, now it's typical, everyone does that. But uh, like four years ago or whatever, when I, before I like figured a design, I don't even know when it was, I, I saw that, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, how the hell? It's not doing a vortex, it's just recycling through the, like just water passing, it's just recycling. Oh no, it blew my mind that you can recycle water that way. So I thought of my two drains that way, but besides that, his work is like, uh, I know he'd be kind of weird on Instagram if you follow him. Not really weird, but he could be kind of like a, I don't know, the dude's a trip. But I feel like every artist who's like an art artist, like really, I think he eat, sleeps, breathes glass and all that shit. And he's super like passionate about like how it should be done. He used to work for like a mothership. So he was working with mothership at one point, and I'm guessing that's how he got all the skills. I don't know, like his work ethic and the, Flame polishes and like use all the little secrets away. I don't know, it's like my hands down like favorite artist. All right, so number two on my list is gonna be Coil. And if you're not familiar with Coil, he's really known for like his sculpting stuff. Even beyond glass, like from what I've seen, he draws like really fucking good. He can do like graffiti style stuff, like artsy. Hopefully I'm putting things in the video. But he can like do all that shit, which is, I don't know, it goes, it's like a big thing to me. If an artist can like, he's a straight up all artist all around. Like he does this, that, seems like he does everything. What is the term, a jack of all trades or whatever? I don't know, and when I see him clap with other people, he always puts his perfect little spin of like the bear or like, where the fuck it may be, he always, collabs like it meshes the two perfectly and I like to think that a lot of that is from his brain because on every collab he has it's kind of the same not the same thing but it's like you could tell it's his I don't know a, a big part of how it was executed is I bet you he was a big say in that and he's gone to like corning glass whatever the fuck it's called like he's done like demos and like lessons and collabs there and it just blows my mind every time amazing artist quotes the shit and we got number three on the list is Snick so Snick Barnes is an artist who, when I first got on the glass, he did a lot of like lippy stuff. It was like rainbow lippies, and then like some sculptural stuff, then even goblets. And I was so, he was my, before the Sun Number Four guy, my whole inspiration was Snick Barnes. So he would make like the coolest goblets, colored too, had the lippies and combos, whatever, you're, whatever you wanna call it. He would just do amazingly, and the color schemes were fucking pimp. And I even got to hit one in, at the first 1K show ever in Miami. I fucking met some kid with a Yusheen and a Snick collab and he let me hit that thing and that was literally, it was nice. And another thing why I love Snick to death is it seems like every like three or five years or so he completely changes his like how, what his like field of work is. Like when I, like I said, it, I got into it, it was like the Encalmos and the Rainbow shit. Now, now he's on like a whole different wave of things. And he's even got like two two uh, separate phases since like the Rainbow and Encalmo shit. So I always love that. And it's just like his, oh, the motherfucker's got taste. He's got style, I love it. So yeah, Snick Barnes is a uh, trace. Uh, number four on the list. And this also isn't like one to five who's the best or five to one who's the best. This is just how I wrote it down. And uh, number four on the list is Laceface. If you're not familiar with Laceface's work, um, she makes like crazy, like wispy, like it looks like a straight like mother, like a, it looks like a, like a Titan or like a Guardian. Uh, some shit you'd see like in like a fucking Greek mythological, Myth, myth you see it in a book somewhere, like a Greek book. But like, uh, and then the way she just like, I don't know, the horns and how she pulls everything and it's kind of like twisting all in the same direction and it's huge, like her body of work is huge. And if you've ever seen her, she's like a tiny chick, like she's really small. So if you see her like working on stuff, it just looks fucking crazy. Like it's this tiny chick and she's just holding the thing that's like, literally the size of her whole like waist. 
And then she's just fucking beast mode and that shit out and like, I don't know, it's just really cool. I don't know, it's just the shit she does. And like, again, uh, a lot of these artists, what I thought on my list is the art, like the way they project, like present like their, uh, their work is the tits for me. Besides son number four, he's the exception because he's like a scientific glass blower guy, but he's still an artist in my eyes. But Laceface, back, back on the homegirl, hands down, I think she's the, she's like one of my top favorite artists in the top five, obviously. But I think hands down best, like, girl doing it in the game, hands down. And she's fucking, I don't know, she's crazy. She makes really killer stuff. And for number five, last on my list, um, this may, you could have thought this already, but it's got Debbie. Scott Deppy, owner of Mothership, alien, walking this earth, disguised as human, Deppy. He makes, hands down, the craziest shit. Like, he literally, in my eyes, he like, I love Mothership too. Like, everyone hates on Mothership. That paved the way for like all these heady kids. Because when I first got in the glass, how underground, that must have been the most underground shit ever, because I never heard anyone. But when I got in like the heady boy scene, where like people were buying Motherships for like 12, 10k, that opened my eyes to like the glass scene. And then, at the time, he had like the all-star team, which is another video I want to do, is should glass, like should, should there be glass teams? Like, if, if you were the name, like what if I put these top five people that I wrote down, or if all of them were a team, and then he's made killer shit. Like, kind of like how Mothership did back in the day, but different video. But anyway, Scott Deppy, I feel like he has just pushed everything to the max in the glass scene. And there's literally no one that I think compares to him to this day. Like his uh, originality, this, the shit he did with what he had at the time and like what it was too in like the early 2000s or like mid whatever, mid. Fucking 2010, 08, even the 90s. I'm pretty sure that motherfucker was melting probably some pretty dope things. So fucking cool. And I love how he'd use like white with like the Celtic knots. I don't know, you see, uh, I'm putting up videos and shit for everything. Scott Abbey is probably my, he's last on my list, but he's probably number one, like, favorite. If I could take anyone's skills in the, in the like, art industry, I would take Scott Debbie's. Yeah, Scott Debbie's a shit. All right, that will conclude it for this video. And um, who are your top five favorite artists? Because I know everyone, everyone's different. So drop in the comments your top five artists or even just your number one favorite artist. Fuck everyone else. And that'll be, uh, oh, let's get some interaction going on the Algo. Power Jack, thank you for watching. I will be back next week. One upload a week. I'm not stopping it. Bye.